walks that we've crossed so far. Uh, Third Avenue, I think until the 1940s, had an elevated railway, and so it was built um, to be much wider than some of the other avenues. Park Avenue, of course, is also very wide, but that's because it has railroad tracks underneath it. And so, um, again, that, um, that scale of um, the, 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 uh, the avenue is really dictated how it's been constructed. And so, um, mentioning Civitas' rezoning efforts, uh, working with various communities, uh, we um, worked with this particular community to introduce contextual zoning, as I was discussing a minute ago, um, in the area that we were about to walk into. And I think a real concern in East Harlem, um, when we were working on this about 10 years ago, was that the scale of development on 3rd Avenue, south of 96th Street, was going to proceed um, directly up, um, up 3rd Avenue into East Harlem. Uh, we're, if, if you're familiar with 3rd Avenue on the Upper East Side and in Yorkville, uh, it's really lined by 40-story buildings. It's a very, very dense uh, neighborhood, and we have very inadequate public transportation in this neighborhood. We have a subway that's in under construction, which we'll talk about in a minute, but that's not going to be complete for quite some time. And so there are varying reasons why people were concerned about this increased density, but certainly just the lack of um, facilities to serve an increased population was, was one of them. And so uh, we worked with um, uh, the community. Um, part of the Civitas model is, is we um, hire experts, uh, urban planning experts, et cetera, to help develop our, our studies and our materials. And so uh, we proposed this new um, zoning for this neighborhood, uh, which basically creates distinctions between avenues and mid blocks. And really kind of a compromise that was worked out with the city was to push the density um, onto the avenues. The, basically, the, um, the avenues are what's called up zone. The, the zoning was increased, or the density was increased, and the mid blocks were down zone. Whereas prior to this, um, our work, they were all the same, so, so they could be built sort of at the same scale. And there are many examples around this neighborhood where, again, it's, um, I think buildings have been constructed to the detriment of the surrounding community.